I'm pleased to welcome Tracy Ryman, the Executive Director of People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. She oversees the organization's campaigns, marketing, corporate affairs, youth, and web outreach efforts. Whew. Uh, she has appeared on television on behalf of animals numerous times, including CNN, ABC's 2020, and her work to promote animal rights has made headlines in major publications, including the Washington Post, the Wall Street Journals, the LA Times, and USA Today. Oh, I didn't know PETA got media. Is that something they do? Something they do? Uh, everyone, uh, please give a very warm welcome to Tracy Ryman. Michael Farm, welcome everybody, especially all of you first timers. We're so excited to see you all here. I can't believe it seemed like half of you are new. That's so great. Um, never has there been a more exciting time to be involved in animal rights. I feel like we're actually approaching a tipping point. And with every national heartbreak, like Tillicum at SeaWorld, and with every undercover investigation that uncovers horrors of never, never before seen. Uh, footage of rabbits who have their fur ripped from their skin for angora wool, or lobsters and crabs who are torn apart limb by limb while still alive, we are one step closer to realizing our dream of total animal liberation. We at PETA are lucky. We hear about the victories, both small and large, almost every single day. To name just a few in the last year, We've seen dozens of top companies ban angora wool, and others have banned down feathers. China Southern banned the transport of monkeys to labs. <laughs> Washington University stopped cat experiments. Exotic animal and rat breeders were shut down and convicted of cruelty. Slaughterhouses closed down. Ag-gag bills were defeated. India banned all animal tests. We saw bear pits closed down, animal acts canceled, elephant rides banned, companies dropping Ringling Brothers like flies, Los Angeles banned the bull hook, and this is the first city where Ringling actually goes to a ban the bull hook, so the importance of this cannot be overstated. And Sunder, the long-abused elephant, is now blossoming in his new home. These successes fuel us. They make us stronger, and they should make you all stronger, too. We're here at this conference to offer ourselves to you. Each and every person here has the capacity to stop unimaginable suffering. And all you need are the tools, the ideas, the inspiration, and we are here to give that to you. You can help in so many wonderfully simple ways these days. Using your mobile device and PETA's Action Alert app, you can send dozens of letters to companies and officials in, a mere, in mere minutes. You can share life-changing videos on Facebook. Leave vegan starter kits and glass walls DVDs wherever you go. You can join us in protesting Ringling, which is here in LA right now. And if you've never been to a protest, we will stand beside you. Now is your moment, it is the animal's moment. We must push harder than we have ever pushed before, before backsliding starts. We are making so much progress, but we cannot let up. We can't let those who want to do right go in the wrong direction by buying so-called humane meat when they should be going vegan. We must make sure that the momentum behind the movement against SeaWorld continues long after Blackfish stops airing on CNN or is on the front pages of Netflix. We must make sure that everyone sees exactly what happens to gentle sheep who are beaten, stomped on, cut up, and killed for a wool sweater. And if you haven't seen the footage that we released yesterday, please check it out on our website. You can be the animal's hero, and we are here to help. Please stop by the PETA table, sign up for our action team, talk to one of our staff, but make a commitment to yourself to doing everything you possibly can to win animal rights right now, today. Thank you so much.